I am just, I'm not an expert at plants, but here we are. and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today because it is a rainy gloomy day and because it is that time of the week um, I'm gonna be going through all of my plants today so I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me now basically I'm gonna be checking all of my plants making sure they're okay watering them if they need to be watered and then also checking if there's anything that I need to um, fix like in terms of like leaf placement um, or rotating the plants if anything if one side needs more sunlight so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for that okay, so here I have my first plant um, this is a laundering shoe she has grown so much like she that is all new all those green leaves are new down here that's new as well and then up top here you can see the new ones as well okay so I have my moisture meter and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in to the soil now it says that it's dry which means that this plant definitely needs to be watered it needs to be like in that green moist zone so i'm just going to go ahead and water this plant Now you do want to make sure that you always have the plant in one of these like either plastic or terracotta just to kind of catch the excess water and there should be yep, perfect there should always be excess water coming out that way you know that you thoroughly watered the plant and moving on to my next plant my spider plant it's looking pretty good i don't see any like serious things that I need to be paying attention to here. Let's just check the soil. Again with the moisture meter. Okay, now for this one, it is dry, but usually with plants like this, like succulent type plants, you want to make sure that it does stay that way. I think right now, because it's at a one, I'm just going to wait three more days and then I'm going to water just to be on the safe side because you don't want to overwater plants like these. Yeah, this one's my other wandering Jew. Um, it has grown a bit. Definitely not as much as the other one. So let's check the soil. The soil is still moist with this one so we're not even going to try and touch this one not until it reaches the dry section. Moving on to one of my other favorite ones is this string of hearts. So she just trails down so much. She has grown a lot and on this side too. She has a lot going on here. That's all new. Um, now up top we can see that she's kind of going a little bit bald. Um, there's also like really like damaged. That one's like, what do you call it? Yellow. Um, now I know that this one I believe I did check the moisture on this one and it was going dry. Now I did leave it like this for a reason. Um, I want to try cutting some of the longer ones and then potting it in the soil. Um, I do have one you can see here that I potted already. However, it's not going to grow because I haven't watered it yet. So it says it's best to do that when the soil is wet. So I'm going to do some cuttings place them in the soil, and then I'm gonna water all together. Hey everyone, sorry to interrupt this video. I just noticed um, while editing that I didn't insert me um, cutting and placing the string of hearts um, stems into the soil or me watering it. Um, it was done, however, I just didn't film it because I am very new to doing that. I have no idea how to propagate. This is something super new. I am just, I'm not an expert at plants, but here we are. So if it goes well, maybe I will do it again and I will film it that time. Um, so let's just fingers crossed that it goes well. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, the next time is my Sansevieria, the one that I overwatered. Um, so let's just check that, how it's doing. Very dry, like it should be. Okay, so this one definitely needs to be watered now. 
I'm just gonna not go crazy about it just because like I said this one stresses me out I'm gonna be honest okay next one is my pepperoni of variegata um this one's another one that just worries me because of the fact that I've had it for a while and there hasn't really been a lot of growth as you can see in the middle it has something there but every time it tries to grow, it just dies off and I might just continue with it and see if it'll grow. But since I've had it, there hasn't really been any growth, which is really sad. Um, so I'm hoping eventually it'll just start growing again. Next up is my beautiful lemon lime Maranta. Um, this was on my wish list for so long. I love her so much. As you can see, I have a new leaf growing right here. She's about to open up. I'm super excited about it. I'm super happy to see that it's still growing even though I repotted her. Um, so hopefully she just continues thriving. I am going to rotate her on the bookshelf because she is trailing more this way. I want her to also be trailing that way as well. So I will be rotating her so that she tries to face the sun. On the other side as well next we have one of my figures um, this one this leaf is completely new I definitely need to rotate it so it can start moving this way because as you can see it's slanting towards the other side so the Sun it's probably gonna be like this in my shelf so that it can start kind of branching out this way um, this one I was having a bit of trouble with as you can see like the leaf tip right here it's not doing good um, the main reason why is I didn't notice, but when I got it from the greenhouse, um, and when I was repotting, it was like in a weird, oh, it's good, it was like in a weird, I don't want to say plastic, but like in a mesh kind of bag, and the roots were like, they were kind of all stuck together, and so they didn't have the space to just spread out in the soil, and so when I repotted it, I completely just took off that mesh and like massaged the roots. So I'm hoping that now it's going to do better, but just unfortunately, like I said, I noticed this too late. And so hopefully the rest of the plant doesn't go that route, but yeah, that's one of my biggest. Here is my coffee plant. Now this one has grown so much since I've gotten her. Um, she is doing so well. Dry, definitely needs watering, but yeah, she's grown so much. <laughs> like super bushy too was not expecting it to grow this much um obviously i know because it's a coffee plant it's gonna grow a lot more however i did not know that it was such a fast grower so it makes me really happy to see that it's doing very well in my environment um obviously i don't think it's going to produce coffee beans just because i'm not in the perfect environment for it but i'm happy to see it thriving and growing um, it does have a little bit of like a tip here. Um, it's possible I overwatered or I didn't water um, enough at one point. Is another one of my thickest. Um, as you can see, damage on this one as well. Um, I don't exactly know why. Let's just check with the meter. Um, I feel like it's probably underwatering. Yeah. Again, underwatering. Um, it's so hard, honestly, when you're track when you're trying to figure out why, because underwatering and overwatering causes the same thing, and that's this, these like brown tips. So let's water and hope that the rest don't turn out like that too. Up next is my beautiful polka dotted begonia. Um, as you can see, she is doing very well. She's kind of leaning towards one side because I've had her like this towards the sun for a while um, however these ones are starting to move this way because I had it facing this way towards the sun so I'm going to leave it like that just because I do want it to have that overall um, overall just look um, so that it's not just all leaning towards one side this leaf is actually brand new I wish I would have taken more pictures of it when it was a baby but it was super, super small, and now it's finally starting to look like one of the bigger ones. 
Um, and then right below it, that baby one is starting to grow another baby one. So it's super exciting. I was not expecting for it to grow this quickly either. Um, but I'm very excited, very happy to see that it is also doing well in my home. Next up is my Chinese money plant. Now this one, it's so funny because I put this one in like easy care type of plant and I don't know why. I'm just noticing that she just does not like me. It's kind of, kind of sad. But what can you do? should be easy to take care of. I'm just gonna water a tiny bit just because it is a bit on the drier side but I don't want to overwater because you guys saw what happened in result of um, me overwatering in my last video. <laughs> so check that out if you want to see what happened. Okay this plant whose name I cannot remember but I will put it on the side there um once i figured out this plant was gifted to me and unfortunately it didn't actually have roots so i've been trying to make it better but i haven't been seeing anything um right now what i'm doing is i'm just aer aerating the soil um because the soil that it was into was isn't the greatest um it kind of just really sticky. I'm probably just going to have to repot all over again. Um, it wasn't a pot that didn't have any drainage holes, so that was also a problem. But now I have the problem of just the soil being bad. I thought leaving it in the same soil would be fine just because I didn't want to shock it too much, but unfortunately it's more like a clay soil and it's just not doing good. Um, the soil, I haven't watered this one in so long and it's still really wet and moist and I think that's probably what's killing this plant as well so I'll have to fix this one too. Next is my beautiful elephant ear plant. Um, oh goodness, monster. So this one right here, it's curled because it's finally opening up um, and this is the bigger leaf. Now unfortunately at the nursery it did get damaged. It looks like it was placed in the spot and it just like rip the stem but the rest of it's doing well um, and yeah this is going to become a really big big plant so I'm super excited to see it grow I haven't watered it since I've gotten it just because it, the soil was really moist when I got it let's just check and see how it's doing now yep like I said really wet so we're not even going to try putting any water in there we do and the last plant on my bookshelf is my ZZ plant um, if you guys can tell, I do need to rotate her this way, um, so that the leaves start growing that way, because you can tell from the side, but they're starting to slant the other way, um, so I will keep her rotated. Now this one, I mentioned in my other video, I had not watered, I'm too scared to water, but the soil is looking super, super dry. Oh yeah, so... I think it's safe to put the smallest amount of water. I don't want to overwater it, so we're just going to put very tiny bits um, right where the roots should be, right in the middle, and hope that I don't do damage because I'd be so sad if anything went wrong with this plant. All right, everyone, so that is the end of this video. I know I said I was going to show you all the plants that I have in my house. However, that would be a really, really long video. So I am just gonna ask you guys to give this video a like if you want to see a part two of the plants that I have in my house. And then I can totally give you guys a tour. Um, but that was just like I said, the plants on my bookshelf. Um, I do, of course, want to show you guys the rest of my plants, and I do intend on doing so, but like I said, give me a like if that's what you guys want to see in the upcoming videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave it right here, and then don't forget to subscribe as well. I will see you guys in the next one. Adiosito!